concern we've had is uh, the assaults on our transit workers are escalating and we don't see the government stepping in to increase the penalties uh, for these people that are assaulting our people. Uh, we had one case in Winnipeg where a bus operator was assaulted. Uh, they got a special prosecutor in and this guy was sentenced to 18 months. And that's the start of what we need to see. Uh, we've had a bus operator in Edmonton who was basically beaten uh, within an inch of his life. He lost his eye, can't drive anymore. That person was declared a dangerous offender. So he basically uh, will be locked up for the rest of his life. And that's what we need to continue because they need to send a message to people that uh, they can't just assault transit workers and there's going to be a penalty to pay. Well, for us, once is too many times because no one wants to go to work to get injured. Uh, so it is on the rise, it's increasing, and uh, you know, we have some of our bigger transits, you have Toronto, Ottawa, uh, Edmonton, Calgary, that have our own transit police that are riding our systems to try and stop this, but this, it's still escalating. More and more of our people are getting injured on the job, and it, it shouldn't be happening. We need to stop it.